All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Thursday, April 4th. It is set by Paul. Let's see what he has in store for us. Figure holding publication on prayer, usually about that. Well, the first part of the clue seems like wordplay, the holding and something on something else. So I think it's going to mean usually about that. Now, is that relating to a subject about that subject or is it about that amount in in general, maybe? Usually about that. Would in general mean that? And then what would the figure holding publication on prayer? No, I don't see it in, in general. But I think it's going to be in something or on. Oh, maybe at. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Show teeth, perhaps. First one extracted in a figure of speech. Um, well, showing your teeth could be grimace or grin, bare your teeth. And then a figure of speech. Oh, um... Showing your teeth maybe could be to smile, although some people smile without showing their teeth. And that's why the perhaps is there. Um, the figure of speech is a simile, and if you take out the first I or one, you get a smile. All right, let's try the downs with that. Key. Dialect for slow mover. Um, key might simply be one of the musical keys. Or it could be a word that means key followed by a word for dialect. And it's going to give us a slow mover. I'm thinking of turtles and tortoises, slugs. Um, no, not seeing it. Mathematician touring Hanoi finally, A, capital city. Uh, so I think it's going to be a capital city. Hanoi finally is the, I think, that I. And then we're going to put maybe a four-letter mathematician around that I. And then I think that A is important. I think it's going to be a capital city that ends in A. -A. Let me pause, sip my coffee while it's hot, and think about cap world capitals. Well, there's Tirana, capital of Albania, but um, is Tran a famous mathematician? I'm not sure about that. I took a look at Wikipedia and I didn't see any, so I'm going to clear that out for now. We'll come back to it. Uh oh. Hi. <laughs> I hate when clues refer to other clues because that means you have to do them in a certain order. 19 with 23 down. I see over here 19 with 22 down. Oh, a 25 stem. Oh my goodness. So 19 looks like it's going to be important, but then 19 refers to 10. Oh, so at least we have smile. From our gigolo only beginning to do this. Ooh, beginning to do this. No, that's uh, baffling me. All right, let's go back to the acrosses here. Body cut. 
Uh, is that a term from cricket? Uh, body spin or something? Maybe not. Body cut, third of league qualify. Ooh, um, well, third of league, which has six letters, might simply be telling us to use one third of it. I presume it'll be consecutive letters like the L-E, R-A-G, R-U-E. And maybe it means qualify, body cut, no, here we have to get 25 first, we have to get those. Some words on leaving model hit hard. Oh my goodness, I have a very bad feeling about today's crossword. Some words might be uh, speech. But what's on leaving model? No. Wicked spinner. Well, this is definitely a cricket reference. With Kent is still upset by cut. And it's a 15 letter word. Oh, my goodness. Um, where's the definition? I think it must be wicked. Although that could also indicate an anagram. But I'm thinking upset is um, indicating an anagram as well. By cut. Hmm. What's a 15 letter word that means... Wicked. Maleficent. I think that's too short. Wow. <laughs> All right. There was our smile from our gigolo only. Beginning to do, maybe. Might, might end in a D. And then this. No. Uh, again, ref referring to some clues that I haven't solved. Nag. No. Saint imprisoned by king. Say. One taking stock. Uh, well, king say makes me think it's not going to be the usual R. Um, or even K, or CR. Instead, it's the king as an example of maybe a piece, uh, as in chess piece, or a card, playing card, one taking stock. I think that's going to be the Definition. Um, taking stock, no. But I think it is going to have ST inside it. No, not seeing it. Birthplace of assassinated King Republic. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, what is a, a short word or even another word for a birthplace? Hometown. Assassinated king. Who is the assassinated king? And then does it all go together to make a republic? Are the king... And the Republic make a birthplace? No. Polish collection, or is it Polish collection? Um, 
Shine could be polish, and I have a funny feeling Shine might be a collective noun. Let me pause and look that up. Well, I couldn't find anything on Shine being a collective noun, but then I looked up synonyms of um, polish, because I was thinking polish can also be a certain refinement somebody has. And one of the words was class. And I can see in a, a taxonomy sense, a class could be a collection of items. Not 100% sure about that, but let's uh, try it. Let's try wrench in heap. Well, I'm thinking that's going to be a double definition but it might be a bit loose because of that uh, question mark. Now a wrench can be a tool, but it can also be to twist and a heap. Oh, a heap, I think, can be a slang term for your home, right? Um, no, I'm not thinking of anything for that, so maybe class is not right. How about unknown, tag lifted, holding lead on Springer, Spaniel. Yikes. Um, <laughs> unknown is often X, Y, or Z. A tag lifted sounds like tag reversed, holding the lead on Springer is an S, and then could it just be a Spaniel? I would have liked if that was an O, maybe a lapdog. Although it doesn't have an unknown in it. No, all right. True is very quick by the sound of it. Well, that apostrophe S, yes, I would immediately think it was anagram fodder. Maybe true S and very. And the de and quick, could quick be an anagram indicator or but then by the sound of it makes it feel like a homophone. <laughs> so I'm, uh, yes, I'm just not doing well today. All right, let's, uh, I think I've looked at all of the acrosses, although I didn't really spend much time with the ones with the numbers. All right, reportedly a gallon where cars stop for petrol. Well, reportedly makes this sound like a homophone. A gallon where cars stop for petrol. Well, they'd stop at a petrol station or a pump. Where they stop for petrol. Something station. Yeah, but is there some other, well, a gallon? Maybe it sounds like, um, oh, I was going to say four quarts make a gallon. And the uh, front area of a petrol station is called a forecourt. So that's a very bad homophone. I am willing to wager there will be people complaining about that, even though there is obviously the question mark indicating maybe that it's a bit loose, but four quarts and four quarts, there is a... <laughs> A definite uh, difference between them but that is a very useful one 
to get usually about that and a figure figure might be one so maybe it is on usually about that on oh on average would be usually about that oh, of course so the figure is one holding publication on prayer oh the rag is the publication and the prayer is ave ave maria so uh yeah i should have got that i think just from the definition of usually about that being on average but there you go now our body cut third of league qualify Uh, no, not seeing it. Now, if this is, if animal is the definition, otter comes to mind. And how would that be? 19. Yeah, uh, with 22 down. Ooh, wrench and heap away. I wish I could get that. All right. Well, let's um oh, yeah, let's look at 16 now our wicked spinner ooh begins with r not what i was expecting still upset by cut wicked is it some word like um rapscallionary or something like that No, I'm not getting it. All right. Particular corporation after old odd jobber. Well, it could be maybe an old name for someone who did odd jobs. Um, I'm sure there are old words for that. But I'm also thinking... Could it be taking the odd letters from jobber? I don't think so. J, B, E, not very likely. But it could be after old would be an O. I think it's going to mean particular. Eh, could mean an odd jobber, I suppose. Handy man would be an odd jobber but I don't see the word play corporation is probably CO or INC of course corporation can also be your stomach and we've seen tum used oh Yes, there is um, the word a factotum. So the definition, I think, is odd jobber. Corporation after old is O and tum. And a particular is a fact, as in, let me take down your particulars. Wow, that was a tricky one. Glad to get that. I need to get 19. So smile, only beginning to do this. Is it going to be C something, S-E-E? -E? Could be S-E-A, our set, our gigolo. Smile from, what a strange phrase. Smile from our gigolo. Only beginning. No, I'm not seeing it. Tesla say on electronic charge. Well, a Tesla is a car. Electronic can be abbreviated to E. 
And if you're in somebody's charge, you're in their care. Now, there can't be too many words that fit this. Is it going to be body or is it going to be qualify? Oh, how about entitle? Yeah, I think it might be entitled. If something qualifies you, it entitles you. At the end, we have the third of league, the LE. So body cut. Oh, an entity is a body, and that is cut or shortened. All right, slowly but surely making some progress. 19 for restraint. Um, we've had restraint before as a uh, seat belt, I think. But could it, oh, it could be a fettle, maybe? Something like that. Animal, this is looking like otter. Now uh, let's, uh, oh, did I, no, I didn't look at this one. Tough one, overcoming evil, fragile thing, three, seven. Tough one, I think it's going to be a fragile thing. Oh, what do you, when you insult somebody by saying they're, very delicate, what do you call them? Ah, can't think of it. Tough, what would tough be? One, I think, is going to be an I. Overcoming evil. Yeah, don't see it. Here was our key dialect. Now we don't have anything more on that or our city. How about disinfect food with a tissue pre-cooked? Okay, I think it must be an anagram of a tissue pre. That would uh, get us to 10 letters. Let's try the anagram helper, even though we don't have any of the letters yet. Let's just see if it throws out something to disinfect food. I presume it's going to end in ISE. Um, pressurize. Authorize, um, what is it, a super, oh, we have super something, disinfect food. Uh, maybe, um, maybe an obscure word for one of the treatments food is given, but... I probably know it. Let me put in ISE and just see if that helps. I'm sure many of you have spotted it already. Star up, star up, Yeah, I'm not, um, I'm wondering if it's superatized something in the back of my mind. Let me uh, pause and look that up. Oh my goodness, how did I not see that earlier? Uh, pasteurize, of course, makes me think of 
Benny Hill and uh, the Ernie the Fastest Milkman in the West. I'm sure it was a very old joke when he put it in the song. Do you want it pasteurized? No, up to here will do. What was it? Something like that. All right. Well, that's another good one to get. Some words on leaving model hit hard. Um, is it something like a punchline? Could be some words are a punchline. Hit hard is punch, but on leaving model. Oh, a line. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure about, th let me put it in. I'm doing so badly today. I'm going to check this before I go any further. No. <laughs> All right. Well, it was, I suppose, a bit of a long shot, but I could see a model of some product being a line of the product, but not, not it. Some words on leaving model hit hard. No. All right. Uh, we're getting somewhere now with our wicked. But having that M, let me check factotum, it is right. So it's not an anagram. Wicked Spinner with Kent. Kent, of course, is a county, but then also a character in Lear. Is still upset by cut. Oh my goodness. Yeah, not sure what to do with that one. Uh, let's go back to the Downs. Very old house nearby. Squalid. Well, it could mean very old or it could mean squalid. I think squalid is more likely. Uh, House nearby. No, not seeing it. Gaps in fences regularly. Seen without reflection. Ah, well, regularly suggests we take some letters at a regular pattern. Is it fences? And then seen without. Hmm. Yeah, not seeing that either. How about metric unit? I record a record in score that's backed up. Well, I'm thinking it's going to be a metric unit in eight letters, kilometer, centimeter too long, kilogram, ooh, kilogram fits. Oh, I log is in the middle of it. Now, what's the score that's backed up? Well, there's I log, uh, so mark, M-A-R-K, to score something to make an impression to mark it. And that's backed up. Oh my goodness. I looked at this one earlier. Our spaniel. Does spaniel have another meaning other than a dog? I uh, don't know one. Inlets where J enters shallow waters. I wonder if it could be the letter J is put inside oh, a word for shallow waters. And it's going to mean inlets. No, I don't see it. There's our wrench in a heap. But let me um, check class. It is correct. Which is 
fortunate in a way, but also unfortunate. I cannot think of a word for wrench. No. Rose coming up in flower garden. Um, I think it may be a hidden clue in flower garden and it may be backwards. Um, Gru is hidden there backwards in uh, flower garden and that means rose past tense. Oh no. This um, uh, Georgia comes to mind as a republic. So birthplace of assassinated king republic I'm not seeing um I'm not seeing how that is formed Let's check it it is correct Um well we have George almost. And does assassinated mean George doesn't finish? Um, no, I'm going to have to rely on 15 squared or one of you kind viewers to explain that to me. All right, true S, very quick. By the sound of it. All right, it's not an anagram of true s very because it has an a. But maybe um. Ah, I'm thinking of the word steadfast. Somebody who is true and loyal. Um. Steadfast. Yes, very quick. I can see the fast and the quick, but the Ted it's very well, let's check it. It is correct. Yeah, I'm thinking it is. True is the definition. S is just S. Very Fast, Ted, fast, stead, stead, fast. No, I'm not getting it. Um, all right. Ooh, I'm thinking now of a word for inlets now that we have the O and the D, and that would be fjords. And sure enough, a J, letter J is going into a ford, the shallow part of a river. Now, Nag. Ooh, nag could be a horse, of course. 19 with four. Do we have four yet? We do. Something with care. Handle with care. Something with care. Nag. Philly, maybe? would be a horse. Let's uh, check it. It is correct. So something with care gives us Philly. All right. Oh, I like this uh, Y now. Oh, squalid might be an anagram indicator, perhaps. But um, I don't think, because I'm thinking of the Y in nearby, but then we would need four more letters and very old. All right, let me uh, think about words that might fit. That second word is unusual. Well, I did have to resort to wordplays.com and it suggested the word dynasty. 
And I can see squalid could be nasty. I think it's going to be very old as in some Chinese dynasty. And, uh, and that's going to be very old. House or house nearby squalid. Um, oh, there's a Wendy house, which is like a, um, like a tree house, isn't it? Like a little children's house, a Wendy house. Is there a Wen dynasty? Then this would have to end with a W. Oh, maybe a something blow, hit hard. Uh, this one now looks interesting with the K. I immediately think of, Ru oh, Rumpelstiltskin, who was a wicked spinner in the fairy tale. Oh, and is it an anagram of Kent is still... I'm not exactly sure how the anagram works, but rum, I think it's, is it L-E or, and then stilt, skin, yeah, I'm not sure about, is it L-E or E-L, um, anyway, that's, should be somewhat useful. Let me look up the spelling just, or actually let's go ahead and do check this. Yeah, it was the other way around. All right, uh, so now gaps in fences regularly seen without reflection. Well, again, regularly in fences, we're gonna have ECS. Hmm, ecstasy, not sure about that. And that would be, is gaps going to be the definition? And what's seen without reflection? No, not seeing that. I think I'm going to go ahead and reveal that one. Echoless. Oh my goodness. So, um, how does this work? Gaps. So, without reflection is echoless. Uh, gaps. Oh, I think gaps are holes. And they are with inside the E. So I was right with ECS, but the S had to be down at the end. So the gaps, the holes could be put inside. Wow, that's a very tricky one. Particularly because it's not an everyday word, echoless. Anyway, so now, 10 smile from Argilo, only beginning to do this. Yeah, it's not an anagram. What kind of wordplay is it? Our gigolo. <laughs> no. <sighs> I do not see that at all. I'm going to go ahead and reveal it. Say cheese. Okay, so if you want somebody to smile, I suppose only beginning to do this, say cheese. But how is it from our gigolo? Yeah, boy, some very uh, strange ones today. All right. Oh, I'm seeing a phrase here. Uh, I suppose a Spaniel could be an obedient person who might be a yes man. 
Oh, the tag lifted is a name which is holding the lead on Springer and the unknown is at the start Y. Fairly confident of that. Let's uh, check it. It is correct. Now our saint, well, that must be the saint there. Uh, one taking stock, of course, is somebody illegally taking stock would be a rustler. Uh, then the king is going to be the ruler. Uh, so a king is an example, but not of a chess piece, but of a ruler. Uh, so wrench. Ah, yeah, you can get a rick in your neck, and then you can also put hay in a rick. All right. So now that we know 19 is, say, cheese with 22 down with rick. Say cheese with rick. Hmm. I don't know, is there going to be a cheese theme or but animal? Say cheese with Rick. Uh, I'm just going to have to put in otter, check it, it is correct, but how is that? Say cheese with Rick. No, don't get it. And now say cheese for restraint. Um, I do think is fetter. I know there's fettle and fine fell, but I think a fetter is a restraint. Let's check it. Oh, that's so funny. So otter and fetter. Oh. Oh, it's that uh, damn rhotic R. Yes. So if you say feta, F-E-T-A, cheese, and you have a certain kind of accent, it's going to sound like fetter. If you've seen my videos before, you know I do not like those homophones involving that R that comes out of nowhere. I think that's very unfair to people who pronounce English properly, like Irish people. Um, so let's see. Then the animal say cheese with Rick. Oh, Otter Rick? Is that a type of cheese? I'm not a familiar with it. I'll own up to my ignorance there. Oh, we don't have any letters for that. Let's try key dialect for slow mover. Oh, a dialect maybe would be an accent. It's not exactly a dialect, though. Uh, or patois. Now I'm going to reveal that one. Escargot. Oh, the Argo is a dialect, yes. Key is the escape key on your keyboard. And um, a slow mover is a snail. Oh, my goodness. Very tricky. So now some words on leaving model hit hard. Yeah. Now I'm, t yeah, I think I'll resort to wordplays.com and see what that has for me. No, nothing matches. So I must have a Wendy house wrong. Let's check it. Ah, yeah, so let's reveal it. Handy. The Han Dynasty. Yes, I've heard of that. Um, very old house. Oh, but very old house. Ah, is the dynasty, of course, very old house. Nearby is handy. Oh, that's handy. It's very nearby. All right, so then now let's try this. Ah, 
it's a paragraph. All right, how does this work? Oh, hard might simply be the H. Hit is rap. All right, I can see that. On leaving model then would be P A R A G. I don't uh, get the first part. Obviously, the definition is some words. Oh, it's tough today, uh, and it's only Thursday, so tomorrow's is going to be even worse. Tough one, overcoming evil, fragile thing. I think a shrinking violet is what I was trying, maybe trying to think of earlier. Um... No, I'm not seeing tough one overcoming evil. Well, I wonder if it could end in L I V E. Now I'm going to go ahead and reveal it. T service. <laughs> okay. That's, I think, a very, um, a very elusive definition, fragile thing, a tea service. Okay, so a tough one is a teaser. Yeah, we've seen that before as far as using teaser. I don't think I've seen it broken up, though, like that tea and sir. And the evil is a vice, and so a tea service. I think they could have given us a little more of a definition to point us to China or something like that, that we might have made some sort of connection to narrow down, because there's so many fragile things in this world. How are we supposed to think of a tea service? Oh my goodness. All right, so now 25, which was steadfast, stem, uh, to stem the flow of blood can be to staunch it, and if somebody is a staunch supporter, they are steadfast. All right, now our mathematician touring Hanoi, finally, a capital city. Uh, let me pause and look at the cities again. Ah, of course, it means nothing to me, Vienna. The mathematician is Venn. Of course, I really only know his diagrams, but I'm sure there must have been somebody they're named after. All right. And now, finally, certainly say cheese with Gru. Uh, so again, I think it's going to be another cheese homophone. Gru, Gru, in there, Gruyere, something Gru. Now I'm going to reveal it. Yeah. Is that Gruya sounding like Gruyere? Um, I don't know. Certainly, I suppose, is the definition, yeah, but even... Yeah, it's not a good definition of uh, certainly, or sorry, the other way around, certainly is not a good way to get us to yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I'm uh, not too happy with today's crossword, I have to say. Well, part of that, of course, just I'm not good enough to uh, get these. So a little bit of sour grapes, but um, I just think some of the clues were maybe not giving as much information as they could have. But let's go over to 15 squared to see what they say. All right, today's blog is by Peter O. I think this may be a Marmite puzzle with the interlock cross references, which some find annoying. Yes, I do, or worse. And frequent use of what might be described as approximate homophones, aural wordplay, 
I find them hilarious, but others may not agree. I hope you see the skill with which the various cheeses are introduced. Anyway, with Mondays, it's on a laugh out loud roll. <laughs> I'm not laughing. All right, let's see. The one, there were so many today that I did not understand. Um, let's see, I got those ones, but Otter, ouch. 22 is Rick. Oh, I did it, Otter Rick. It's Rick Otta. Uh, again, that rhotic R. Ah, my goodness. 14. Oh, yes, it's a charade of a paragon as a model minus the on. Plus, I did get the rap and the H, but that is very, very difficult. And then. Um, Rumple still skin, I didn't fully understand. It's rump is a cut of beef plus an anagram upset of Kent is still. Okay. Yeah, so here it looks like I've an awful feeling that the word play is from our G. Gigolo only beginning, giving a soft G, hence fromage. Fromage only beginning to do this. Oh my goodness, that is. Mm, no, I don't know how anyone can defend that. Oh, Philia, I didn't uh, look, go back and understand why a I got it from the nag, but with care. So carefully, I do uh, agree with that being a homophone. All right. Um, let's see, Georgia. Ah, so it's a double definition. So the assassinated king was Martin Luther King Jr., who was born in Georgia. Hmm, okay. Um, what other ones? Let's see, in the downs, yes, so four quarts, hmm, I bet there will be comments complaining about that, and fetter, fetter, no, 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 number eight, yeah, oh, it is, oh, uh, yeah, I always, I think, pronounced it as gruyer, but gru, gru, yeah, Gruyere, oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Well, of course, uh, you would be fair to say if if I if I'm so critical, can I do better myself? Probably not. Probably not. Anyway, let's see. Well, let's see, Doctor Watson. And expect to see an answer occur in consecutive regular cryptics once every two months. Only once every five months. The editor spots the repeats and shuffles them around. Oh, okay, very good. Cheesy puns. Have past your eyes, yeah. Um, Yeah, I had the same difficulty. Let's see, KVA is always a good commenter. I agree, I fully agree it was fun. Hmm. I would guess fromage was the cheese in Paul's mind, but the search for pronunciation is somewhat close to fromage. Hmm. <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome. I think that might be explaining why these regular commenters are going along with this stuff, but um, yeah, so at least KVA does think tea service is a somewhat loose definition, more than I liked the definition itself. So I'm glad I'm not the only one who quibbled with that. Um, anyway, that's enough. 
All right, well, um, I, I can't say I fully enjoy that, but um, what can you do? They can't all be a walk in the park like the cryptic or Monday's good fun on April Fool's Day. Anyway, I thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.